everyone, and welcome to Meet the S-Class Digital. Now, this very first episode is all about my MBUX, and the Mercedes-Benz User Experience, or MBUX for short, has been hailed as a sort of revolution in the cockpit ever since its presentation back in 2018. Hey, Mercedes, am I right? You bet, but it gets even better because the new S-Class comes with a new version of MBUX. Next to me is the man responsible for the development of this intelligent infotainment system, member of the board of management of Mercedes-Benz and head of case, Sajid Khan. Welcome. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you for having me here. It is my great pleasure. Thank you for joining us. And also the next generation of MBUX will have a very special look and a very special feel to it, obviously. And to learn more about this, we are also joined live from the studio by none other than chief designer at Mercedes-Benz, Gordon Wagner. Welcome, Gordon. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Sajad. Hello, Hi, everybody. Gordon. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the design philosophy behind MBUX and what was your vision behind the whole thing? My vision is to make Mercedes the most desired luxury brand. And like every luxury brand, we have a very distinctive style. Ours is called Sensual Purity. Welcome to the new MBUX in the upcoming Mercedes-Benz S-Class. One main asset is the desire for beauty. We focus on sophistication, user delight, and a very luxurious visual style. Besides beauty, I'm convinced that the wow of how it works is highly relevant. Ease of use, simplification, and staging of high-tech contribute to the luxury experience. With that in mind, and on my way to create the most desired luxury brand. We have worked hard to create a user experience far beyond beautiful displays. Besides the new look, we created a totally new digital approach for our all-new S-Class. This is the new welcome. You'll see that startup animation welcomes you with a calming star pattern. The familiar Mercedes environment now uses a deep 3D effect with the highest aesthetics. The exclusive mode exudes pure luxury and is specific to the new S-Class. We also created visuals for our sporty-oriented customers, like the performance look you see here. Of course, we also offer a minimalistic look. We use the absolute reduction for the understated mode, simplification at its purest level. When it comes to operation, intuitive is the key word. Informative content and driving functions are easily accessible with a vertical, simple swipe on the touchpad of the steering wheel. And a horizontal swipe calls up a new screen. Here we see the car's many assistance systems in a dynamic 3D environment. All systems are shown on one screen with less distraction but with the most useful and important information to support safe driving. 
We are proud to be the first market with a head-up display with augmented reality functionality. Using this system, driving relevant content is projected alongside the actual driving environment you see through the windshield. For example, clear animated arrows show where to turn. When the arrow fans out, you just follow its direction. It was never easier to navigate. For the first time in a Mercedes, we designed the head unit in a portrait format with ergonomic and intuitive touch operation. What you see is what you get. And as you can see, all icons and text are neatly structured. All settings are clearly marked and can be adjusted in a second to ensure a safe and comfortable driving experience. And of course, you can configure this to your preferences. The app grid is clear and easy to read, and it is also customizable. Without leaving the navigation screen, you can switch between the apps with just a swipe. Above all, high quality renderings and clear settings ensure an intuitive and emotional user experience. I truly hope I've raised your curiosity. Soon, you'll be able to try it out for yourself. Thank you for that so much, Gordon. Now, we all know that design has been part of automotive manufacturing for over a century now, but it has only recently been about more than just shape and color. How has it changed from your perspective, Gordon? Design for me was always more than just only how it looks. It's also about how it works. That also applies to software design we're doing. And software design, that is, of course, where you come in, Sajad. I mean, software as an alone is very magical. It's very nice. But without a great design, I mean, customer cannot experience this. Where his team is supporting and working together with us so hard to create an end user experience in such a way that the customer finds the design and the technology embedded together with each other. By using some of the technology of the augmented reality, virtual reality, in such a way that everything around my MBUX, it should become the brain and the spinal cord of the vehicle. Now, Gordon, if we return to you and ask what your favorite feature is. Uh, it's, of course, the whole thing, the composition, starting from the looks, ending of how it works. Um, but of course, we as designers, we love simplicity. If we like something, we take a line off. If we still like it, we take another line off. And the same we applied here to that software system, and we call it the understated mode. So it is very reduced, um, and it really gives you the minimum amount of information you need. And that's really what true design is about. Gordon, thank you. You've basically already said it yourself, but let me say this again. It is a work of art that you've created there. So thank you for bringing us that, and thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me, and stay safe. Stay safe and take care, Gordon. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, we have moved back over to the seat exhibit and Sajad has gotten comfy on the front seat right over there. Why don't you start out by explaining to us how it makes life for your customers even easier? So as you get into the vehicle, you get your personal profile and the whole car, it set it up completely for you, whether it's an ambient lighting, mm -hmm. it's a display on the front over there, it's a display on the right hand side over there. And with a simple touch of a finger, you can just log yourself in and then you are already into your profile and there you see, okay, this is the whole vehicle prepared completely for you. And I will show you afterward in the back seat also mm -hmm. that all of your those settings, whether it's a seat, it's light, it's navigation, it's telephone, your multimedia, everything is in there and you can take everything on the back seat. I mean, this is one of the major highlights over here. If you are seeing something, for example, if I'm watching a movie and I say over here, when I'm watching this movie, it should be shared with the rear seat over there. Right. Just only with the one touch, you can take that and you can just drop it to the rear seat and it goes like boom, mm -hmm. and it's on the back over there. And if you look at the whole technology which we have built as the display technology for the eyes of the customer, we have taken those technologies which are at the moment in the spring, like 3D display, so I'm having over here a 3D display. Mm -hmm. You see augmented reality technology down over there as an augmented reality head-up display. You see how the things are being projected on the street when you are driving the whole vehicle. Mm -hmm. And on this side, we have got the OLED display mm -hmm. for the very precision to make sure that the customer has a very nice feelings in the eyes. So with the combination of these technologies, which are virtual reality and augmented reality, we have offered all the contents at different place in the vehicle in such a way that the customer mm -hmm. finds the content where they need at that point in time. And Sajad, you already told us about one example that I like very much. Could you give us that example one last time? It's about the sunroof. And then we're going to have a look at that. 
That's right. So you just open the sunroof by just moving your hands like this, and then the sunroof opens, and then that's a very natural action you do. Okay, we have now switched to the back seat, and Sajid, I would now like to know what about the functionalities for all of the other seats? Can you give us more information about that? So if you look over here, you have your own profile, you have the complete navigation, so the whole system is available over here, which you can control from this seat, and you can give any kind of a command or any kind of a thing from here to any seat you would like to have. I see in the center console, we have a sort of computer. What is that all about, Sajad? Actually, this one is an enhanced version for our MBUX. You can go in any kind of an app and you can say, okay, I would like to have an access, for example, to my uh, email or to my calendar. And you go in there and there you see that, okay, your emails and the cloud uh, calendar and all those things are available. Now, you showed us as an example emails and you use the calendar app. Um, that contains personal data. And obviously, whenever we speak personal data, I'm sure the viewers would like to know what are you doing for data security? I mean, we take the topic of data security and data privacy very serious. Ownership of the data is with the customers, and we keep it like that, and we take care very well that it's very well secured. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Asmi. Take care, Sacha. Take care. And ladies and gentlemen, that's just about all the time we have for today. So I would like to thank you for joining us as well, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.